that's the reason why. A partial eclipse across much of the Middle East and Europe meant the sun appeared to have a huge bite taken out of it. Thousands of people were out to see the event, though. For those in the UK, they didn't quite get uh, some of the uh, pictures. Cloudy skies meant it didn't live up to their expectations, as John Brain now reports. A rare but spectacular gift from nature. A crescent sun as the moon passes between it and the earth below. In Jerusalem, a treat for those fortunate enough to witness this awe-inspiring sight. The partial solar eclipse began in the skies over the Middle East before extending across much of Europe. This speeded up film capturing the sheer beauty of the sun rising over Sweden. The appearance of burnished gold lending an almost mystical aura to the occasion. Dan. It's an incredible experience, says this woman. It's magical. So, with a sense of anticipation, stargazers in the northeast of England assembled to view the magic for themselves. Got to be getting close now. But this being Britain, it wasn't just the moon obscuring the sun. Most of the country was covered in cloud this morning, and for many, the eclipse didn't quite live up to expectations. It's been a bit of a disappointment. We haven't seen anything, but we're used to it. We're astronomers. I saw some lovely clouds and more clouds, and it's disappointing, but at the end of the day, we, uh, we come down, we hope for the best, and nature takes its course anyway. There was similar disappointment on the south coast. The sky over Bognor Regis also failed to put on a show. We had a wonderful horizon here, but unfortunately the clouds just did not keep away. They were breaking up for a while, but then the mist came in again, and unfortunately we were unlucky. But some in the UK were more fortunate. This was the site in Peterborough first thing this morning. The sun over St Austell in Cornwall was also photographed in all its splendour. And the population of St Ives in Cambridgeshire woke to this. But for the majority who missed out, the next opportunity to see a partial eclipse in Britain will be in another four years' time. John Brain, BBC News. Well, there were clouds, more clouds. and Alex. D